Oliver owns up is the 22nd episode of the third series, based on the story Resource and Sagacity from the Railway Series book, Oliver the Western Engine. This is part 2 of Oliver's storyline for series 3. But is it any good today? Let's take a look. Oliver is still new to Sodor and tells Doc how very grateful he is that Douglas rescued him and Toad from being scrapped on the other railway. Henry, James and Gordon praise Oliver one night in the shed. Gordon even claims that he is sagacious and is an example to the others. Unfortunately, Oliver, who has never been complimented by big engines before, soon becomes puffed up in the smoke box. After Oliver pulls a couple of coaches to Timmouth the next day, he is told by the fact controller that he must learn how to handle trucks because every wise engine knows that troublesome trucks can never be trusted. However, Oliver is so confident in himself that he ignores the other engines' warnings. Doug tries to convince Oliver how trucks are troublesome, but Donald says it would be better for Oliver to learn on his own. After arranging some loaded trucks then shunting empties to the hopper, Oliver returns to take the loaded ones. However, they are comfortable where they are and do not want to move. They say they prefer Duck or one of the Scottish twins instead of Oliver. Oliver orders the trucks about and takes them anyway, which in turn they retaliate by forcing him down the tracks. Oliver puts his weight against the trucks, but they still push him on, unaware of the danger ahead. He is headed towards the turntable currently in use by Duck. Just when it seems Oliver is gaining control, he falls bunker first into the turntable well. Duck, having seen everything, speaks his concern about the predicament, as Donald and Douglas will now have to work without the use of the turntable. That evening, the breakdown train rescues Oliver. The fact controller kindly says that Oliver has a lot to learn about the troublesome nature of the trucks, to which Oliver agrees and is sent to the works to be mended. Duck sadly watches him being taken to the works by Douglas and calls out to him to come back soon. Since Oliver's return, he is a much wiser engine and now knows how to handle trucks. This episode gives Oliver the chance for his personality to really shine through since he was only just introduced in the last episode, so we didn't get to see much of his personality. But this is where his personality truly shines. And he's another one of those engines that learns the hard way how troublesome trucks can be. And Oliver's accident in the episode was based on a real life event where a Lancaster and Yorkshire 242T tank engine from the London, Midland and Scottish Railway also fell backwards into a turntable well. It really shows how much research from Robert Audrey did when he was writing the stories taking real life events and putting them into the stories for his books. Aside from the title change of this adaptation, another thing that also changed was the fact that the small railway engines Rex Burt and Mike didn't turn up in the episode. But that was mainly due to the fact that they didn't really have the budget or the technology to make the small railway engines work in the model sets, since they would have had to have made really really small models, but they just didn't have the money, the time or, or the skills to do so at the time. They didn't even have the techniques to do the narrow gauge engines at the time. So it is a bit of a loss for railway series lovers who love the Arsdale small railway engines, but that doesn't completely ruin the story. And a slight continuity error with this episode I found after re-watching it, is the fact that the interior of Tidmouth Sheds just doesn't match how it was in the first 16 episodes. Or even from the outside of the sheds. I mean, when you look at the outside of Tidmouth Sheds, it's clearly got six berths in it at that point. But the inside of the shed in this episode it has like seven or eight berths in it. And I suppose you could make the argument that this is meant to represent another engine shed. But in the final episode of this series, it's established that it is Tim of Sheds. And I don't know why they have a different interior from this episode onwards, but it is kind of distracting when you look back at it. But at the same time, it is a cool looking interior for an engine shed, fitting in more than six engines compared to Tim of Sheds. So despite that little continuity error, this is a really cool looking interior for an engine shed. And I have no idea why they never used it again for a different shed in the future of the series. This is also the first time Gordon, James and Henry have a free catchphrase thing aside from the Disgraceful, said Gordon. Disgusting, put in James. Despicable, finished Henry. Here they get to say Amazing, remarked Henry. Oliver, said James. That's resource. And sagacity, put in Gordon. That's a nice change from what they said back in series 2. And we once again get to see the troublesome trucks at their full troublesomeness, pushing steam engines along the line and causing them to derail. It's further proof that troublesome trucks don't really care what happens if they bump another engine, they're just happy to have some fun. They're like naughty children who don't know any better. I also really love here how the trucks tend to prefer certain engines pulling and pushing them. Much like how they did in Percy's predicament when they weren't used to Percy and just wanted Toby back. It's a nice bit of continuity there. They were comfortable. 
and didn't want to move. What right has he to poke his funnel in here? They grumbled. We want Duck. Or Donald. Or Douglas. Anybody care about what I want? I do. Shut up. Shut up. And of course the story Toad Stands By that comes out of this story wouldn't be adapted until the fourth series. So we'd have to wait another series for the conclusion of this story. But for what they were able to do with this episode, I think it really pays off. It's just so much fun to watch the episode entirely, and that accident is just one of the most iconic in the TV series. Oliver ends up as a fun episode about Oliver the Great Western Engine, another one of the show's most iconic characters. It's got so many fun moments, the crash scene is just spectacular, and it's an all-around enjoyable episode that you won't want to miss. It's definitely worth a watch.